as I mentioned, you're a six-year guy. This could be your fourth win over Clemson. Uh, what would that mean to you since basically in the history of the rivalry, there's not even been, uh, hardly been a senior class here that's got four wins over Clemson? I mean, it'll mean a lot to me. You know, um, like I said, it's never really been done here in the University of Carolina. And I would love, you know, to pretty much be a part of that. So. Yeah. Rodney, when, when you watch Clemson's offense on film, do you see anything that NC State or, or even Virginia Tech did that looked particularly effective against them? Um, because those are the two games where they really didn't put up a ton of yards. What yes. were they able to do in particular that was effective against them? Well, I mean, well, from looking at it, you know, they, they played the time of football, you know, I mean, yes, State them. But one thing about Clemson that they have is they come fast, you know, and they have the opportunity to make big plays out there. So, you know, we got to bring our A, bit, our a game to the ballpark this weekend, you know, and um, execute, you know, play the sign of football. How much will this test your guys' open field tackling? Just because, as you said, that's sort of what they do. They want to get those guys out mm -hmm. in space. How much will this kind of test that for you all? And how, how do you feel like? I assume you feel like you've done a pretty good job considering your defense is good, but what about that, testing it, and how do you feel like you've done it? Well, I mean, obviously it is going to test us a lot, you know, but, um, I mean, I feel good about our players, and our players feel good about each other, you know, that we can go out there and make those plays, you know I mean? We are considered, you know, one of the top defenses out there, but in order, in order to stay on top, you know, we got to go out there and make, the make those easy tackles and the tackles that we need to be involved I think last game, I don't think you came off the field with the team in tackles. Uh, so to sort of remind you of the fact that maybe a freshman sophomore he is when you when you really play a lot. Yeah, it, it, it really did. You know, I mean, it felt good just to be out there. You know, just be out there and play the whole game. You know, but obviously you know, we had injury. That's what came out there on the field. You know, but like so I'm ready to step up. You know, at any time. So. Yeah. Roddy, what would it mean to this um, this group of seniors to, to finish uh, strong and uh, maybe accomplish some stuff that, that hadn't been accomplished by any senior class? I mean, it, it'll mean a lot. Like I said, we we have a chance to pretty much go down to history. You know, to, to do really big things here at the University of South Carolina. So, I mean, we plan on excelling and, you know, we plan on going to the game and winning. So. Sadly, being from Columbia, how much do you hear from old friends and family about how important it is to win this game throughout the year? Well, I mean, you know, the fans, I mean, everybody's talking about, you know, you got to do Clemson, you got to do Clemson. I mean, we know what we need to do to execute and to be Clemson, you know. So, I mean, it all starts with us, you know, starting from Coach Bear to the sister coaches to us. You know, so we're going to go out there and keep practicing hard. We saw we had a good practice yesterday. We're up to team. We're to keep going out there and practicing hard this week so we can be prepared for them. Rodney, last time you guys played a really prolific offense in Arkansas, you know, you, you didn't play, I'm sure, as, as well as you would have hoped to have played. Um, obviously, you're not thinking about that game this week, but, you know, is there kind of an understanding that here's another chance to show how, as you alluded to, how good this defense is against a prolific offense when, you know, maybe it didn't go quite as well last time against another one, another really good one. Like I said, this is the big opportunity, you know, for us, you know, we have a chance, you know, for redemption to show, you know, how good that we, are, that we really are on defense, you know. Um, obviously, they really exploited us a lot, but um, we plan on, you know, like I said, bringing our A game to the ballpark this weekend, you know, and, and just proving, you know, to the world, to the nation, to our fans, you know, that we are capable of stopping the prison conference. Last several weeks, Clemson has been turning the football over. Do you see this as an opportunity that, you know, while a team's confidence is shaken, that, you know, one of the things you guys have done really well is get the football away from teams? Do you feel like that plays into your strengths, but, you know, maybe you can get three or four turnovers from this and really help your offense out? Well, obviously, I say they have been turning the ball over, but um, our job as defensive players and as a team really knows to take advantage of those opportunities, you know what I mean? Turnovers are a real big part of the game. You know, in order for us to win this game, we got to get turnovers, you know, so we got to – you know, we see the ball now, we got to get to it. You know, we just got to get, take advantage of every opportunity we have out there. So that's good. That, that might just be, you know, the ceiling point of this game. From watching film of their game against NC State versus earlier films, can you talk a little bit about uh, the impact and the differences you see when Sammy Watkins is out on the field, number one, and number two, your impressions of the way Taj Boyd has played this year? Well, I mean, I mean Sammy Watkins, like I said, he might just be the, you know, freshman of the year. I mean, he, 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 he's, he's a heck of an athlete. You know, I mean, he's fast, he's explosive, you know, I mean, he's great on special teams and offense as well, you know, but like I said, obviously they didn't have him on the NC State game, and it really shows, you know, but I mean, they're probably going to have him this week, but like I said, we just got, I mean, we can't really focus too much on specific players, we got to focus on ourselves, you know, and that's where it starts at, you know, with just us, you know, just coming together as a defense and us executing, us doing what the coaches tell us to do. You know, so I mean, we plan on going out there, like I said, we plan on going out there, you know, and making it a very memorable moment. You know, we plan on going out there and winning as well, you know, so 
you know, and Todd, well, I mean, he, he's a real good quarterback. You know, he's dual threat. He can run. He can grow. You know, I mean, he's, he's a big guy. So, you know, but we're, we're ready to play. You know, I, I feel that we will be ready to play come Saturday. What is your view of uh, Clemson coming off of loss to Mount Perrin State? You said what now? What is your view of Clemson coming off of loss to Mount Perrin State? Today? What's my view of Clemson? Yes, coming off that loss. Oh, well, I mean, obviously they're going to come in here, you know, ready to play. I mean, they have, they have you know, they did get embarrassed against NC State. You know, they're going to come out here, you know, with a vengeance. You know, we know that. It comes to the game. But, like I said, we're going to go out there and play our game. You know, we can't always, you know, up it or down it, you know, according to the opponent. We just got to go out there and play the best that we can. You know, and like I said, we will be ready to play. Uh, last week, uh, defense, the linebackers got hit real hard by injuries. Uh, I don't know, I guess it kind of wore on you as far as the, uh, the play things were. How, how are they looking for uh, this coming game? I mean, they did. I mean, like I said, Silver, they really did, you know, all of the cut blocking and everything. They really did hurt us a lot. But, um, but I mean, I feel that we will be ready to play. I mean, you know, Reggie Bourne should be back. You know, Shaq Wilson should be back. You know, so hopefully we get um, Quinn back, which we're back into care. So, I mean, I, I, I feel confident, you know, that everybody will be back and ready for the game. So. Ronnie, uh, Ellis Johnson has been in this rivalry for so long. How, how much the last two years, how much time has he spent kind of educating the team on the rivalry and kind of what's his message to you all this year? Well, basically, I mean, mainly he's been talking, I mean, we haven't really, like, focused on Chris like earlier. We've been focusing on, on the teams at hand, you know, for each week. But, um, but you know, he, he has, you know, reiterated us, you know, about the rivalry. But basically, like I said before, you know, just going out there and execute, you know, and like, let's say it starts with us, you know, and, in order for us to win this ball game, you know, defense is going to have to step it up a lot, you know. So pretty much, you know, we're not focused. We're not focusing so much on the rivalry, but focusing so much on ourselves and that we execute and get the plays and get the calls at hand. So, Rodney, you talk about practicing hard. Uh, is that, are practice a little more intense before this game? Do you guys think it's a little bit more serious? And is there a chance to kind of kind of show the young guys what it takes to, to get up to this rivalry? You said, it, is it a little bit more intense? I mean, I guess you could say the the focus is a lot more in tune. I mean, I want to say more intense, but the focus the focus of the game is a lot more in tune. I say it is the last you know regular season game. You know what it is, our rivalry. <clears throat> I say we're playing for the state championship this week. You know, so I mean, it's, let's say it is another game on our schedule, but like I say, I mean, we are a little bit more in tune in this game. You know what I mean? But I say we know in order for us, you know, to have a great year, you know, we still able to get this team. You know, so I say it's the next game, the next game, the next point on our schedule. So I mean, obviously, you know, we're going to go out there and focus a lot more. You know, and be a lot more in tune for this week. I know you've been here six years, but I think you're gonna have the opportunity, one of the few players in U.S. history. To, to, to have four wins over Clemson in your time here at USC. Does that mean, does that mean uh, any special any special thing to you? I mean, yes, it does mean a lot. You know, like I said, it hasn't been done. We have the opportunity to make history here in University of South Carolina. But um, I said it means a lot. You know, it just, like I said, our focus, you know, pretty much is going through the game and winning the game. You know, our focus is everybody doing their assignment, you know, being accountable to themselves, having everybody be dependable, you know, and everybody. So, I mean, like I said, we just, we're going to go out there and have fun. We're just ready to play. Rodney, Clemson didn't recruit you today. Um, actually, they did what they initially did, and then they you know, backed off. But you know, that was history. Just because you know. kind of said, "Nah, I'm not really interested." Or... Well, I mean, they had they had their reasons. You know, I'm not getting all into that. But like I said, I'm, I'm a South Carolina game cop. I'm proud to be one. You know, what I mean, and this has probably been the best decision I made throughout my life. So, just kind of in the recruiting as a whole, has nothing to do with Clemson or South Carolina, but. When you when you can remember going back in the recruiting process um, and going to games on an unofficial visit, there'll be a lot of kids here in like the class of 2013 coming yeah. up. You know, kids who are juniors, sophomores, that sort of thing. Was there a game that you went to that you came to here, or that you went to at another school, and you don't have to name it, where you the atmosphere was either great or not good, or they won or they didn't play well, and that that kind of stuck with you as an initial impression of, of that school. And, and kind of started you leaning that one way. Not that that made you decide, but the initial impression. Um, I would have said it was actually kind of a hard question to ask because I mean, you know, uh, when South Carolina started recruiting me, I mean, I had a good inkling, you know, that I really wanted to go here. You know, so I'm thinking that you know it is close to home, and you know, my mom works here. You know, I mean, I can play in front of friends and family and everything. You know, but I see ever since they started recruiting me, I had a you know basic. They see that I wasn't coming here. So I mean, it wasn't like, you know, a big, like, you know, okay, let me see the atmosphere. And then I, I kind of pretty much already knew where I wanted to go, but I still was open in a way. But like I said, I wanted to come here, and I made a great decision. Thank you.
What do you notice about some of the kids on the sidelines with the kind of games or, you know, when Malay, they're able to come into the locker room afterwards, you know, guys who were, who were young, about sort of the wide-eyed and, and, and all that. Do you kind of notice that? And I imagine that might be a little amusing, but <laughs> yeah. what do you notice about that with those kids? Well, I mean, like I said, I mean, like I said, they're, you know, they're young, you know, and they're coming in, it's like, you know, wow, this is this is college, you know, and seeing all those going out there and play the game, or being an actual college athlete. I was there at one time. And I was just like them, wide eyes, you know, like, hey, you know, can I get these? Can I get the gloves, stuff like that, you know? But, you know, I mean, that's that's all a part of a process, you know, throughout growing up. And I said, once you get here, you know, it's a whole different world. It's, you know, I mean, it's, it's actual, it's actual business. I mean, you gonna have fun. It's actual business, you know, and like, you know, you become a part of the actual family that's here. So I mean, it's a lot of fun. Reminder that Rodney is, has played in more games than anyone in school history. Fifty. This will be fifty-six. Fifty-six. That's what I was saying. I just played again. It's gonna be hard record to break. Whose love did you get when you were in the Uh Whose love did I get? I had. Um, I can't even remember. <laughs> I can't. Somebody's all right. Yeah.